Where else could we go? You guys never knew this, but how do you solve a proportion again? Cross multiply, right? But you probably never knew when you cross multiplied, these two have special names. As do these two when you cross multiply. They have special names. Those names are the means and the extremes. Okay, the means and the extremes. So I'll start with this one right over here. A over B equals C over D. When I cross multiply A and D, A and D, those are called my extremes. My extremes. And when I cross multiply B and C, those are referred to as the means. Probably, I don't know how many years ago, a while ago, because everyone always asks, well, how do you remember which one's which, right? A couple years ago, many years ago, I forget. People always say you're kind of going downhill here. So downhill extreme scheme. Extreme downhill scheme. Anybody? Okay, why don't we even bother with you guys? All right, that's how they remember the extreme downhill, downhill scheme. Let that soak in. I know you're mesmerized. Okay, good. What's the theorem about it then? Well, when I multiply them, what do you know? They're both, what do you guys always do when you multiply, cross multiply? You set them equal to each other, right? And what what's the result called when you multiply? When I add, it's called the sum. When I subtract, it's called the difference. When I multiply, it's called the product. So here's the theorem. The product of the product of the means equals product of the extremes. So that's what you're going to show me today. That the means and extremes are both equal to each other. And I'll end this discussion right now. I don't, I don't know if you're going to say it. I wouldn't be surprised if you did. No, I don't. Let me say what I have to say first. Believe it or not, sometimes I get some lazy kids in honors. I know, that's a shocker. I get some lazy kids. I am. I let you abbreviate a lot. This I will not let you abbreviate. So if I see on your paper, POM equals PO, no go. <coughs> All right? No go. Okay? Please write it out. So, I was asking about the other like mm -hmm. formal. Yeah, over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do I decide this like? Well, remember, this is the same as this written here, right? So your outside ones would be your extremes. Extreme on the outside. <laughs> yeah. And on the inside would be your. Yeah. All right, ready to go to work? All right, here we go. Just look at the proof statement here first for number one. Just take a look at the proof statement. I'm asking you to multiply segments. Multiply segments. What I would recommend before you start tackling this proof is maybe working backwards. Work backwards a little bit. What do I mean by working backwards? Well, where did this come from, guys? Where did this come from? By cross multiplying with a, where did this come from? How did I know to do er times ad equals te times dd? I I did it using a proportion. So maybe I'm suggesting you don't have to, but I'm suggesting write the proportion first, so you can see what you're working with. Write the proportion first. So where did this come from? ER, stop, where does AD have to go? It can't go right underneath because you're multiplying them. Where does ER, where does AD have to go? Bottom right. Those are your extremes 
And then T, E, and D, T, does it matter where I put them? No, it will not matter where I put them. The proportion still will be correct. All right, so there's the proportion I'm going to work with. Whew, there's a lot of triangles here. How are you guys going to figure out which one's the proof similar? We did this yesterday now. We did this yesterday. How do you find out which ones are going to be similar? Help me out. Row 14, help me out. Okay, ready? What's the first side? ER. Okay, this is a full side and one and only one triangle, right, Nate? Which triangle? TER, yep. Okay. Give me another side now in the proportion. Give me another side. Five, give me another side. AD, okay. Ooh, ooh, I like it. Who told me that one? Ooh, I like it. That's not good. That's not enough info for me. Everyone agree? That's not enough info because you could say this triangle ADT or you could go ADR. Woo, not enough info. Can't make a decision yet. So still got to go to a third side now. Give me a third side up there that I have not used. One, don't have it. Get out. Your game is weak lately. Four, TE. Let's see, TE. Well, that looked like it was already a full side in the other one, right? Fine. Fine. Can't use that one because it was already in the triangle I picked. So what else do I ask? Now I got one more side. DT. So now that answers my question. It's got to be these two. Good call, man. I'm thinking that AD. We haven't occurred that problem yet. I think, isn't this uh, pretty, uh, no pun intended, similar to what we did yesterday, this proof? I believe we did a proof yesterday. Yeah, you guys like that one, similar. You guys got jokes galore. Give me a pair of angles you see up here that are congruent. Six pair of angles that are congruent. Say R here. Congruent to angle ATD. Yep. Why there, Stacy? Okay, where are the other angles then? Let's roll. Yeah, I like it. 18, where's the other angles? Um, angle A, B, C, and angle C, C, R. Yep, and hey, you're welcome. No one's even thanking me yet. You don't have to do what? You don't even need to tell me the right angles because I gave it to you. You're welcome, yeah. You're welcome, yes. You can just go ahead and tell me they are. Congruent, T, E, R, right angle. Congruent to ADT. <coughs> congruent. Right angles are congruent. And now, here comes the last three days of class. Now tell me the triangles are. Twenty. What do you want to do? Tell me the triangles are. Right, so Similar. Got a statement. T E R similar again, guys. Watch out for that tomorrow. Similar to A D T. What reason there? Angle, angle. Now apply what we did yesterday, and this is why you kind of did the pre-work already. If the triangles are similar, the sides are in proportion. So E R over T E is equal to D T over A D. Why was that statement true? Now that the triangles are similar, why is that statement true? Three. There you go. TP from yesterday. And now, cross multiply. Product of the mean equals product of the extremes.
And no, the order doesn't matter whether you put extremes or means first. I don't care. Questions, comments, any concerns? You ready? This is the last proof, and then I got some algebra for you. So you guys right now, you can work with the people around you right now. I will give you about a minute and a half. Which two triangles are needed to prove similar here? Okay, work, and then I'll ask a couple people. Which two triangles are needed to prove similar? You can write the proportion first if you want to help you out, or you can just pick them right off the proof sheet. Which two triangles am I going to have to prove similar in this diagram? Okay, here we go. Which two, uh, which two triangles are you proving similar? 25? And QAP. Any disagreement? Any discussion? Okay. Proven those two, so now I need pairs of angles now. It's a parallelogram, and that's all I'm given, that it's a parallelogram. So hopefully we know our properties here. Give me a pair of angles you know are congruent then. Hey, well, we're out of time. Uh, every time. Julie, need somebody, please. Need somebody. Yeah, my numbers aren't working. Evan, Evan, Evan. Let's learn each other's names here. Evan, Evan. It's okay. We're learning. Evan. Angle R. Oh, you're killing my heart. Angle R. There's a lot of them, bud. And what are you, a pirate? SRQ. SRQ. Yep. Angle SRQ congruent to APQ. Yep. Those are, take a look. Those are full angles in both triangles. How do you know that? You kid back there. How do you know that? Nice. One more pair of angles, maybe. Ah, oh, here we go, 12. Anybody got 12? Let's go, Frank. QAP, this one right here, got it. RQB, okay. Uh, okay, a couple things. I can't say they're congruent right now. You gotta tell me the lines are parallel first. In, in particular, which lines? RQ and SP, yep. Parallel to SP, why are those parallel, Frank? Yep. Now you can say those angles Frank gave us were congruent. Angle RQB. And QAP, parallel lines imply alternate interior angles, and you guys can finish this, I think.
Okay, and then you got angle angle, CSSTP, means and extremes. So triangle, let's see, I'll go CRQ. Make sure you put the similar sign. Let's see, if I go CRQ, whoo, I gotta go QPA. By angle, angle. Uh, I do want to hear from somebody what your proportion is here, making sure we can set this up correctly. What's your proportion? 13, what's your proportion? One more time. QC over AQ. Okay. QC over AQ, and what's the other side there? CR over QP. Just make sure we're cross multiplying the correct things here. QC and QP, got it. CSSTP and then means and extremes. Whew. Means and extremes, yes, Skylar. Why did they give us the diagonal? Let's see, QC intersects diagonal BQ at B, SP at A, and the line containing RS. Uh, maybe because they wanted to tell you this was a straight line, I think. So you knew it could be a full side of the triangle. That's the only thing I could think of. All right. That's it? That's all you guys have? Huh? All right, look at that, huh? Not bad. Uh, you know, tryouts, there's algebra here, there's proofs here. I wouldn't, you know, maybe try a proof, then an algebra one. All right, take a look at the answer key. All right. You guys got plenty of time here to work through everything.